You've got to take care of yourself. No! <laughs> Come on, you know. In the meeting, I was the perfect prince, but I wasn't me. Yeah. All right, here we are. Firebook episode 10. This is the day of the Black Sun. Now, the next two episodes here are combined into one on Netflix. There is a not 0% chance that I combine the next two episodes into one video. For me, it entirely depends on where episode 10 leaves off because I might just go straight into episode 11 if it's something crazy. And I think that'll be better for you guys watching as well. Like at this point in time right now, I don't know what I'm going to do, but based on the title and the length of this video, you guys probably already know. I talked last episode about, you know, I feel like something's going to happen, you know, whether it's because the Fire Nation are potentially prepared for this with the knowledge that they have from Missoula, but we'll see. Sometimes I never know what's going to happen in this show. And something that I have been really uh, excited to talk about is, um, so for our characters right now, this is meant to be like, like the big battle, right? This is supposed to be it. And I'm just thinking because it's happening in the middle of the season, you know, this might not be it. it there might be another fight later on, but if this is meant to be it, I think we might see a lot of old characters come back. This is something I've talked about like, like throughout the whole show, people like Boomy, plus a whole bunch of other characters that, that we've met, you know, throughout the show that I've probably forgotten about. I I think we might see a lot of them, you know? We've just been with the end game lately. We haven't been seeing what's been going on behind the scenes, you know, with what Sokka and Katara's, like, father are doing to prepare for this. If they've gone off and told other people, we just know that they're gonna rock up, you know, where the homies are right now. And exactly how they plan to do this invasion, like, I, I really have no idea. So I'm just really excited to, like, experience what's gonna happen here. So I've got my predictions, right? I, I think something's gonna go wrong and there's gonna be a, a bigger fight later on. I could be wrong about that. I'm gonna stay open-minded. I'm just going to see what happens and enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for early access if you're interested. And with all that being said, enjoy the video. Here we go. The Day of Black Sun Part 1. The Invasion. Talk to me, Avatar. Oh, they've all got their colors back on, except for Aang. Like a baby moose lion. Good. Good, 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 good. Gonna get your glow on and hit him with a little Avatar state action? I can't. When Azula shot me with lightning, okay, here we go. the 7th chakra was locked. You know what I just heard? Blah, blah, spiritual mumbo jumbo, blah, blah. This is a big deal, Toph. Okay, Hakoda, show me the extra homies. I want to see them. Were you able to locate everyone I told you to find? I did, but I'm a little worried, sucker. Some of these men aren't exactly the warriors. Wait, are these the guys from the swamp? Oh, hold on now. Like the swamp. Hey, but they're waterbenders. I just wish they would wear pants. <laughs> pants are an illusion. They are in Aang's dreams, let me tell you. Hi, Katara. Oh, I remember oh, this guy. So good to see you. Man's been growing stuff. No way. Is that? Hippo happy to see blind bandit. The boulder. <laughs> no longer fight. For I, I did not expect this. Now, of course, Sokka wanted the boulder. Kingdom. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, it's this guy! Were you able to complete work on the plans I sent you? Yes, I was. Oh, I've just remembered. Um, the war balloon. This is something we don't know that the Fire Nation have had access to. I haven't forgotten. And I think the Fire But Nation this is interesting. What have we got problem. cooking? Aang, my dad and I made this for you. Oh, it's got some blue on it now. Oh, that's so good. And as a special feature, I added a snack <laughs> compartment. Momo's gonna love that. I'm getting excited, man. This is really good. You're never stepping outside these walls again. Now nah, he said that Zuko's gonna bust him out this episode. Careful, me. Don't get too close. His stench will knock you right out. I keep saying that. <laughs> Ira could probably just bust himself out. I snuck in some white JT. I know you like rare teas. Thank you, Ming. Ming's a real one. Don't worry. You'll do great. <sighs> oh man, has the public speak? Good morning, everyone. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Today, we're invading the Fire Nation. I mean, I know you know that, because otherwise, why else would you be here? Oh, I'm not coping. The Fire Lord's Palace is here. Uh, no, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait, it's here, and... Someone jump in, please. I'm sorry. Let me start at the beginning. Katara and I discovered... <laughs> Bro! I grew to love him. Then we went to the Southern Air Temple where Aang used to live, and then we met some... Oh, he says beginning. Me, then Aang <laughs> beginning. And then Katara got Haru arrested, and then now he's grown a mustache. <laughs> Thank you, Sokka. Sokka's rising up my top characters list this season. Today is the day of Black Sun. There are two steps to the invasion. A naval stage, and then a land stage. Ooh. At that point, the eclipse will begin. Okay. Excuse me. The, the boulder. boulder. 
isn't the point to invade during the eclipse it might be a quick eclipse, eclipse though yeah weeks. there we go not enough time for the whole invasion yeah okay when this is finished the avatar will have defeated the fire lord and this war will be over i want to believe it i do but something gonna happen you know oh poor soccer he wishes he could have done that speech i bet oh stock up stock up here we go Toph's got armor on. Oh, I love that helmet. Look at Appa. Oh, that gave me chills. Look at this dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is good. We're going back. Oh, I love this look. With the new glider. Juxtapositioning. Aang's putting the stuff on. Zuko's taking it off. What you thinking, Sokka? I messed up, Aang. What? The invasion plan was my moment of truth, and I completely flopped Yeah, it. I get it, I get it. He gonna have a bigger moment, though. Sokka, He's gonna have his moment. moment. Yeah. That was just public speaking, and nobody's really good at that. <laughs> True! He explained the plan perfectly and inspired everyone. Like a real leader should. This has been Sokka's thing, though. Your moment of truth isn't gonna be in front of some map. It's gonna be out there, on the battle. Next to Suki with a sword in hand. How do you know we're gonna win? Because I already failed the world once at Ba Sing Se. I won't let myself good, fail again. Good, good. Aang's come around. They're making me feel pretty confident about this, I'm not gonna lie. Keep it up. We're almost through. What's this net doing? This ain't gonna be enough to stop us. Let's hope your invention works. Okay, okay. Now, we are ready for this. No one's on board, sir. Where'd they go? Are we- This is brilliant. We made submarines and we've just gone under. Oh, that's clean. What a bait. Look at Appa with the air bubble on. Though your original designs were a bit difficult to decipher. That don't matter. Lunchtime, General Iro. General. And this time, I brought you an extra bowl of rice. Thank you, Ming. I think you should take the rest of the day off. What? You don't look well. No, I feel fine. Trust me, it is better that you are not here this afternoon. You already know. Iroh doesn't want her to get hurt when he busts out of there. Aang looks so good, so, man. This is it, huh? I'm ready. Good, good. Let's go, homies. Ooh. The next time we resurface, it'll be on the beaches. So stay alert and fight smart. I'm excited, man. Hold on. Even if I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh, they both know. Look at them. Yeah, come on. Stop beating around the bush. We've been through so many things together. No one cut them off this time, please. Grow up so much. You're not that little goofy kid I found in the iceberg anymore. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm really proud of you. Okay, okay. Ang. Everything is gonna be different after today, isn't it? Yes, it is. What if? What if I don't come back? <sighs> Ang, don't say that. Of course he'll. Yes. Let's go, Ang. Ooh, game face on! And that's all that needed to be said. Katara, what are you doing? That's a bit I stressful though, actually. What? The last what? thing he said to her is, what if I don't come back? What if Zuko and Iroh don't come to Aang? Aang gets stuck here with them. Interesting. I'm sorry, May. It has to be done, man. <laughs> Come in handy. Jesus. Good, good, good. Oh no. Not good. Come on, Arpa, get involved now. Water whip. Watch. Okay, so far so good. Maybe too good? I don't know. Like, I'm sure they're prepared for this, right? The Fire Nation?
Oh, this is clean, man. This reminds me of stuff the Fire Nation would do. I just feel like from the Fire Nation, this is all a distraction. We haven't seen anything from Ozai or Azula. Like you'd think if this was a surprise, that's awesome. But you'd think if this is a surprise to the Fire Nation, we'd be seeing what's going on with Azula and Ozai. Let's go, Swamp Guys. Oh, yeah. We're a man down. Where in tarnation is you? Bring it back. Bring back the Swamp Monster. That's you. Hey, you. Where you been? Fantastic. Communing with nature. My man, Hugh. That's the guy. Whatever happened to June, by the way? We only saw her once. That's my man, Sokka. That's my man. Her coat is chilling. <laughs> I thought this guy was about to die. Sokka, we've got to take out those battlements. It's our only chance. I've got an idea. Sokka ideas are always good. Nice. The sword's coming in clutch. Yeah, let's go, Katara. You two take out that battlement. I got this one. Watch each other's backs. So good. Heal him, Katara. Dad? Dad! You better heal this man. <laughs> Ooh, mother. Choices, but today, I'm gonna set things right. Put that hood on, Zuko. Mm, this is all very interesting. Yeah, we do a little healing. Well, that's not looking so good. How's that feel, Dad? Uh, a little better. I need to get back to the. Is he out of action though? Uh, yeah, that's that's not sounding good. That's not sounding good. Everyone's counting on me to lead this mission. Soccer time to step up. Don't let them down. Step up, man. I'll do it. Let's go. No offense, Sokka, but you're not. <laughs> <a good laughs> oh God. I'll lead the invasion force. This Don't is big time. Crazy, Maybe I am a little crazy, but the eclipse is about to start, and we need to be up that volcano by the time it does. I'm proud of you, son. I still think you're crazy, but I'm proud of you too. Aww. Put that helmet on. You know what time it is. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. We haven't heard yip, yip in a hot minute. Yeah, yeah. I love it when Upper gets involved. Listen up, everyone. I want the tanks in wedge formation. Warriors Avengers in the middle. Listen to what Sokka says. Sokka ideas are good. Let's go! Sneaky and Ang. Well, what if he meets with Zuko? That's strange. Oh, there's no one around? Nah, hey, hey. Because they know. The Avatar is back. <laughs> why, why would you do that? Hello? Anyone home? Well, it's all part of a plan, man. They're not even gonna be here when the eclipse happens, man. It's just not gonna matter. Like, we've not seen a single important Fire Nation member outside of Zuko, and he's running away! We're on our way to victory! I didn't think it was gonna be like this, though, man. No. Yeah. He's, he's realized no, no, no. it's a disaster. I mean, I'm asking the same question now. Oh, we've gone straight into the next episode. Okay, look, I'm just going straight into it, you know? Like, I didn't even feel like we were getting towards the end of that episode, so we're gonna keep it going. Part two, the eclipse. Okay, talk to me. Katara, you seem distracted. Is something wrong? She's worried about Aang. Yeah. And... Is that, is that Aang? Please tell me you're here because the Fire Lord turned out to be a big wimp and you didn't even need the eclipse to take him down. He wasn't home. 
The entire palace city is abandoned. They knew. They knew. My instincts tell me he wouldn't go too far. He would have a secret bunker. Somewhere uh -huh. to go and be safe during a siege. Uh huh. It looks like we've got about 10 minutes until the full eclipse. 10 minutes to find the fire lord. Okay. Okay. If they knew we were coming, it could all be a trap. Maybe we should use the time we have left to make sure we all get out of here safe. That that's probably the move. Here today came prepared to risk everything for this mission. Oh. They know what's at stake. I think they would want Aang to go for it. You're the one that has to face the fire lord. Whatever you decide, I'm with you. He going to go for I it. Try. We're going to try. For all they know, this could be the only chance, man. There's something big, dense and made of metal deep in the heart of the volcano. Metal's good for tough. The tunnel continues on the other side. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. There's no floor. The floor is lava. Climb aboard and hold on tight. Oh, that's terrifying. No, I don't do that. But the, the three of us against... It's not just going to be Ozai, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Metal ain't a problem anymore. I am so glad we added you to the group. I don't know if we want to be in here right now, man. Retreat! Everyone move to the secondary defensive position! Yeah, they had a big old plan. Only 30 seconds until the total eclipse. I'm ready. I'm ready to face the Fire Lord. So, you are- It's Azula. I had a hunch that you survived. But it doesn't matter. I've known about the invasion for months. I'm ready to face you. Oh, this is brilliant. Prince Zuko, what are you doing here? Oh, dude, it's meant to be Aang, but it's Zuko. Oh, what is Zuko gonna say or do? Bro, my back's hurting. I need it. I need to sit properly. I'm too excited. Here we go. Why are you here? I'm here to tell the truth. Telling the truth during the middle of an eclipse. This should be interesting. It was Azula who took down the Avatar, not me. Why would she lie to me about that? Because the Avatar's not dead. He survived. What? In fact, he's probably leading this invasion. Get out! Get out of my sight right now if you know what's good for you. That's another thing. I'm not taking orders from Yeah! Me. You will obey me, or this defiant breath will be your last. That's a crazy thing to say. Think again. I am going to speak my mind. Are we going to come full circle here? Listen. Then he really sat down. The, 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 the eclipse, they can't bend. You're powerless right now, so you're in no position to refuse. And stick to the truth. Now, can she I'll lightning be able bend? To tell if you're lying. I'm a pretty good liar. I am a 400 foot tall purple platypus bear with pink horns and silver wings. She's just trying to buy time, man. Come okay, on. you're good. I admit it. <laughs> Sing say I brought home some souvenirs. Dai Not the Dai Li. Oh, I could have never. For a second, I thought she learned how to earthbend. For so long, all I wanted was for you to love me, to accept me. I thought it was my honor that I wanted, but really, I was just trying to please you. To hear this come from Zuko, my father is is nuts. Me, after all this time, out of turn. my father who challenged me. A 13 year old boy to an Agni and just threatened to kill you was to teach you respect. It was cruel and it was wrong. Then you've learned nothing. Nah, no. yeah, everything. We were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. They don't see our greatness, they hate us, and we deserve it. Oh, we deserve it. Era of fear in the world. <laughs> so go. We need to replace it with an era of peace and kindness. He's the best. He's the best. Hasn't he? Yes, he has. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Let's go, Toph. I was waiting for Toph to get involved. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, good. She's too nimble, man. Come on. Surely between Toph and Aang. J 
Jesus. <laughs> I love a slow-mo. Poor soccer. He's just in the way, man. Come on. Wait. Hey, talk. Stop attacking. Don't you see what she's doing? She's just playing yeah, with Yeah, she's us. just buying time. You're trying to keep us here and waste all our time. Um, right. I think your friend just said that, genius. <laughs> and since you can't see, I should tell you, I'm rolling my eyes. I'll roll your whole head. <laughs> we'll talk to him. baiting you again. It's a trap. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ignore! <laughs> Sokka's your name, right? My favorite prisoner used to mention you all the time. Oh! I convinced you were going to come rescue her. Of course, you never came. I completely forgot about this. Sokka! Come and get it. Thank you, Toph. Thank you, Toph. Where is Suki? I completely forgot that they would have had them. And I'm gonna beg for his forgiveness. He's the one who's been a real father to me. Yeah. But I've come to an even more important decision. I'm going to join the Avatar. Come on! You. Really? Since you're a full-blown traitor now and you want me gone, why wait? Because I know my own destiny. Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Oh! Goodbye. Coward! You think you're brave enough to face me, but you'll only do it during the eclipse. Don't listen to him. Don't you want to know what happened to your mother? This is gonna work. I mean, I kinda do as well, man. But this is a massive bait. But this is like the best stuff of the whole show. My father, Fire Lord Azulon, had commanded me to do the unthinkable to you, my own son. And I was going to do it. Your mother found out. She proposed a plan. A plan in which I would become Fire Lord and your life would be spared. Where's Suki? Oh. Uh. Answer me! Where are you keeping her? Your mother did poisonous <laughs> things that night. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, we could assume this. She was banished. So she's alive. Perhaps. Oh, do we get to meet her, maybe? Your penalty will be far steeper. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, it's worked. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. It's so much better than I could have thought. I thought he'd use that against Azula. There's no way I, Ozai could have expected that. And he's escaped. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> the fire bending's back on. Dad's all the way at the end of the hall, then down a secret stairway on the left. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to see you now. Now I think we gotta go now. I think we need to go. It's not your fault, Sokka. Azula was ready for us. She had every move planned out. We thought we had surprise on our side, but we didn't. It just wasn't our day. What we need to do now is go help our friends. Yep, yep. I guess you guys are right. You'll have another chance. I know you will. Okay, okay. This is this is where I thought we'd be. But this whole Zuko situation, so much better than I could have imagined. But now that the eclipse is over, I expect we're going to see some fight. But like I imagine we're not gonna be very receptive of Zuko, huh? After what happened last time we saw him. Here they are. Here they are. The war balloons. My own invention. Oh, oh, this this, is, this is a big twist for our guys. Like there's no way they could have expected this. Okay, okay, this is a... We might have the big submarines, but they got the massive airships. Oh, oh shit! It was all a trap! Azula knew we were coming and she's plotted out every move! They've got air power, but so do I. I'm gonna do what I can to slow Yeah, do what down. you can. Papa, you and I can help too. Good, 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 good. Pretty dangerous though, no? I'm a bit nervous. Ooh. Oh yeah, that'll do it. There are too many of them. Let's join the others. Okay, we got a couple of them at least. I think Iroh's already broken out, man. He's already gone. Look at him. He busted himself out. I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one man. That's army. the dragon of the West. That is terrifying. They're headed for the beach. Oh no. They're gonna destroy the submarines. How are we all gonna escape? We're not. Then our only choice is to stand and fight. We have the Avatar. Do we just we still win. become prisoners? With the Avatar, we could still win. 
on another day. You kids have to leave. You have to escape <sighs> and up together. Dude. Oh, it makes so much sense though for the show. You're our only chance in the long run. Ah. I have to go with Aang somewhere safe. And they got to come you back with Zuko and Iroh somehow. The adults will stay behind and surrender. Oh, we'll see Weed Man. I mean, they're doing a good job. I'm shocked that he didn't die from that. That was insane. Oh, GG. We lost today, but we've never been. It's all about the youth, man. The youth are gonna lead us to victory next time. For something. We won't be apart for too long this time. I promise. That's tough. He, he probably really feels like he's failed again. Thank you all for being so brave and so strong. I'm going to make this up to you. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. And we'll have unlocked the Avatar state again, and we'll be firebending masters. Should we follow them, princess? No, they're too fast. But it doesn't matter. They'll be back. Now I need Zuko and Iroh, and then you can end the episode. He's coming, man! I'll take it, I'll take it. Dude, dude. Yeah, I'm thinking that's gonna be hard to top. Off the Zuko stuff alone, man. We're gonna have a damn good chat about this episode. That was, that was something special, man. This is kind of where I thought we'd be after these episodes, but it's everything that happens in between, man. That's always the exciting stuff. It did actually take me uh, until the discussion last episode to remember that the Fire Nation knew this was gonna happen, right? And of course, that's what the meeting was about last episode. And just the way the invasion plans out, which was very well constructed, by the way, and the things we can take away from that, it, is, you know, Sokka's like, quote unquote, failure at presenting the plan. And for him to kind of have a little bit of a moment feeling like he's failing as a leader, only for him to take over Hakoda's spot on the battlefield. And just like Aang said, it wasn't going to be in front of a map for Sokka. It was going to be on the battlefield. That's where he has the big ideas, you know, in those moments. So that was really good to see from Sokka. And back to the plan, man. Look, it was really well thought out. I love when shows do this. Like we, we know there's a plan happening, but you don't know exactly what the plan is until you see it unfold. Like, like the submarine, like all, all the extra characters like the um like the swamp guys coming back uh, the people we met at, at one of the air temples like a, a lot of characters I didn't expect to see here now we didn't see uh, characters like Boomy and Paku like, like I was expecting I, I think we might see them at the end or maybe like in another setting you know because we didn't bring everyone this time we, we brought a lot of people but I think there are some very strong and significant characters still out there that maybe we can bring with us next time but like I said during the episode I love the way how the invasion plans out and the only Fire Nation character we're paying attention to is Zuko as he's written this note to leave for May and as he's on his way to face Ozai and it all leads up to man like the end of that first episode you know like Aang's come around he was really confident look he straight up kissed Katara man Aang's thinking that in this moment he, he might not come back he's thinking like something bad could happen that's still lingering in his mind he's like look I don't want to have any regrets and he's just gone for it like that that's big time but like I was a bit nervous like off that interaction I did say maybe like Aang gets marooned there or something obviously that's not what happened but, but it was interesting like that's where Aang's head was as he went off to fight Ozai the last thing he said to Katara was what if I don't come back so you know that the Fire Nation know right but it's just the way you don't see any other Fire Nation characters Aang slowly realizing the whole city is empty it's like okay there, there is clearly a plan going on here they're gonna wait out the eclipse it's exactly what they were doing and, and as soon as Aang you know finds the room where he's expecting Ozai to be it's empty but it's Zuko pulling up to where Ozai actually is ready to face Ozai. It's not Aang facing Ozai, it's Zuko here. And that entire interaction, man, that was just everything I could have possibly wanted and then some man. Zuko is sounding as concluded as ever man, like he was spitting to his father man, like how dare you challenge a child to an Agni Kai, to, 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 to what, to teach him respect? Zuko is not having it anymore, he's like nothing of, of what Ozai did was right, like we've been able to see this and this is really starting to build Ozai up a little bit more, uh, like as that big antagonist that, that I'm sure he's meant to be, but he was a demon man, like he straight up said like he, he was gonna kill Zuko like in that moment, of course Zuko's gone up 
talk to him when, when neither of them can fire Ben and Zuko has his swords, you know, so Ozai has to sit and listen to him. Well played by Zuko. None of that talk stuff from Ozai saying, oh, you'll only face me when, when there's an eclipse happening. It's just the things that Zuko was talking about, man, you know, and it all comes back from that uh, Sozin backstory episode as well. You know, Sozin wanted to, you know, extend the great nation of the fire nation, you know, to a bunch of people who didn't want it, right? And look, it's created this hundred year war, like Zuko is saying, everyone hates them, the fire nation, man, like they're doing this the wrong way. They've created this era of fear, but Zuko's like, nah, we need to create a new era of peace, man. Hearing stuff this heavy and this impactful and important coming from Zuko after all this time, man, like, like, look, you knew this was going to happen, but, but this was just so good for it to happen this way. Zuko has got his mind made up. And yes, a, a lot of that does come from Iroh, as Ozai said, but Zuko truly believes that this is the right thing to do now. All the way up to leaving his father alone here, you know, he was ready just to walk away. He knows his destiny, which I believe is changing the Fire Nation, right? Stopping what Sozin and then Azulon and now Ozai have been doing and creating this era of peace that he's talking about as the next leader of the Fire Nation after all this. And he knows that Aang's destiny is stopping Ozai and Zuko will take over after that. that that's what I think is going to happen. And it's just fantastic. And Zuko has made up his mind. He's going to join Aang. But, but like I said, man, you can only imagine that uh, Aang and Katara especially are going to be pretty cold towards Zuko after he switched up at the end of the Earth book, right? Especially Katara, man. Like they had a pretty significant moment, you know, Katara and Zuko. And then Zuko switched up, man, and it led to, you know, Aang can't use the Avatar state anymore. He's got a big scar on his back, just like Zuko has a scar in his eye. And he went to get Iroh, who's already busted out. Like, we knew it was going to happen. I was saying over the last uh, couple of episodes, like, maybe uh, Zuko will go and get Iroh, which was his plan. But of course, Iroh was training to bust himself out. And you heard what the guards said, man. He was like a one-man army. They, that's the dragon of the West, man. So is Iroh going to gonna find a way to, you know, get out of the Fire Nation as well and maybe chase her homies down? Like, like what is... Uh, Iroh's goal here because the last time Zuko and Iroh talked it was the end of the Roku and Sozin episode and that was a pretty significant talk but Iroh's still gone off and done this uh, without Zuko knowing so I'm really curious to see what Iroh's doing if he's trying to do some stuff in the background in the Fire Nation but if he's staying man it could be Zuko that that's the one to, to teach Aang firebending you know like I uh you know like it might just be an eventuality at this point but I'm still gonna love it no matter what now let's talk about that lightning bending sequence as well man so when the firebending came back on as Azula said, uh, Ozai's wasted no time. He's gone straight for the lightning bending and used it on Zuko. And man, I thought Zuko was going to do this against Azula. I didn't even think about Ozai using the lightning bending, man. But Zuko ha has, he's used the, the, what, what Iroh taught him, man. And Ozai would have had no way of seeing this coming. Zuko's redirected it straight back to him, sat him right down and then just, and dipped. Like that was just like, that's my full circle moment with, with Zuko and Ozai. Like I'm happy with that. Like Zuko, got his get back you know after he got the scar from his father you know he's he sat him down like I'm, I'm so happy with that like that is very fulfilling stuff to me don't really feel the need to talk too much uh, about Azula she was just in the background doing her thing you know buying time and once again playing her role perfectly might I say got to give her credit man especially after the beach episode like I've got a, a little bit more of a soft spot for Azula even though she's still an antagonist a little bit um but this whole uh Suki stuff like this actually did pop into my head during the episode but um I I never talked about this or, or really thought too much about it like uh, obviously we knew that Azula Tylee and May uh, defeated Suki and the squad I didn't even think about the possibility that they could have them as prisoners and I've been talking this whole time about Sokka and Suki fighting side by side I, I think that's gonna happen but instead we're, we're gonna come back obviously we're gonna bust all of our prisoners out and Suki's gonna be part of that right like I imagine and that's when it will happen but like who knows Azula could be lying they could have defeated them and just left them there I, like I don't know but I completely forgot about that so that was a that was a pretty exciting moment for your boy then uh, when Azula started threatening Sokka and of course Sokka got like baited into it oh and of course speaking of getting baited into stuff like you know Zuko got baited into staying and listening to Ozai talk about his mother now, now this is exactly what I thought had happened though you know we knew Zuko's mother was doing some shady stuff behind the scenes but I believe uh, Azulon wanted Ozai to kill Zuko that's what he was saying right after all, all the shenanigans like Azula was the one right not Zuko that was going to be the next you know like Fire Lord and Ozai said he was going to do it but Zuko's mother you, you know the descendant of Roku ha has stepped in and, and you know worked behind the scenes and she was banished right I, I wasn't sure what had happened to her but they've planted the seed that she's possibly still out there like all I want now 
for Zuko is to to get his peace of mind. I want him to meet his mother, man. Like I want him to, to go through what he's going to go through here. I want him to be with his mother at the end of this, man. And even if you think about Azula a little bit, like she did mention in the beach episode, like, oh, my own mother, like thinking I'm a monster, which is true. And she owns that. But that could be interesting as well, man. Like that that's just something there. You know, Ira can go off and have his tea shop somewhere. Zuko can be the new Fire Lord and he can have his own little family, you know, like, oh, there's just so much, man. It was just, it was just absolutely fantastic. Like I said, it was everything I wanted to be. And I'm really glad I did both episodes together. I think this is going to be one hell of a video. It may be my, my favorite video on the channel today. We'll see. Everyone was looking great, man. Like, Arpa's got his armor on. Everyone's got their, you know, original colors back on. Aang looked great, like, you know, with the, the monk style robes, you know, he, he's gone back to the buzz cut. He's got a new staff. It was just really good stuff, man. And look, like I said, this is where I thought we'd be. It's our four main characters, plus a couple of the other young guys. We've all dipped off, you know, and we're back to square one again. We're back with the squad. Zuko's on our tail. He's going to teach us firebending. Maybe Iroh comes along as well. But like I said at the, the start of episode nine, last video, this is not what, what I thought was going to happen. Like, like uh, up until a few days ago, I was still thinking Day of the Black Sun and the comet that was all going to be stuff like like later like super later so this has already happened man we're gonna need some cracking avatar state mastered all the elements help from zuko and everyone kind of stuff i think to actually put ozai down man because i feel like it's gonna be the, the comet's gonna happen man there's gonna be some comet stuff man i'm really excited about it i really hope i i haven't missed too much like there, there's a lot you can talk about like the family stuff between like Sokka, katara hakoda you know Toph and like the boulder like and those guys like them will being homies now even Iroh and Ming like just that little interaction alone like Ming being a homie and Iroh saying look I'm about to bust out of here today and you don't want to be around for that like so many like good little things like, like here and there surrounded ju just by just so much epicness and, and just good writing good twists man that was just a fantastic experience so like I said I hope I haven't missed anything you guys in the comments have just been fantastic like talking about like stuff like you guys have all these opinions like formulated and your viewpoints o over so many years at this point so it's really Really nice to see that so i'm sure if i if i miss anything uh, you guys will we'll talk about it in the comments which i'm looking forward to but i think after all that i'm finally going to leave this video here i'm really excited to see what happens uh, in the remaining uh, nine or ten episodes i'm not exactly sure how many it is but we might have a, a little cool off period a little reset like like zuko is coming like like oh it's just it's just good man like y'all know how it is it, it, it's just good so i'm gonna leave this one here now thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and as always please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below you know i always appreciate it and we'll see you all in the next episode of avatar